Uh, honestly, I haven't talked to nobody so far about that. Adam, what are your thoughts on Robert Beal? Last year, I think he had zero tackles, zero sacks, and now he had seven hurries, he's got two sacks. What have you seen out of him really trying to, really embracing the roles on the Wolfpack now? <laughs> honestly, like just seeing anybody in our room improve, like it, it makes you feel better because honestly, like you seeing development in like every player. So honestly, just seeing the fact of like him coming out, making plays and just the rotation, and, like just seeing everybody, <laughs> you know, producing as well. You, the look on your face just changed when he started asking about Robert. He started smiling real big. Is there, was there any particular reason for that? I mean, is, I mean, have you guys been messing with him? I mean, kind of what, what, what's, the, what's the story there? It just changed. <laughs> no, honestly, like, just any time somebody in our room made plays or actually just, like, producing as well. Because, like, honestly, being, you know, being at University of Georgia, we're on so many defenses. And, like, I know, I'm, like, our defense is not, like, one of the easiest things to learn from. So, like, honestly, just seeing anybody in our room, that can, can produce, and I honestly like do the same thing on the field as well. Like I mean, that's a blessing in both ways. Just seeing the development and growth in players. Alan, there's a point in discussion at all about how many different guys have gotten sacks, how many, like how spread out that's become. Uh, honestly, like our whole defense, like they're like each and everybody at least got like two or you know three sets of behind their name or so. So honestly, it's not like one player like developing all the sets like. Anybody, you know, going for the quarterback and everybody going for sex. I know you were going for 20. Is it, uh, are other guys eating into that total? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, so much far, not not as much really. I mean, at the same time, everybody, you know, producing what they can do as well. But honestly, like, if my teammate getting back there too, like, shoot, honestly, I feel like I'm getting back there as well. So honestly, it, it's like produce on both ways. What is the, what, what is the individual number that actually y'all look at? the most and think is the most important. I mean, sacks is kind of the glory stack, but I don't know if there's one that you all think, or, or two or three that like reflect how you all are playing the most individually. Uh, for us, most of the time, we look at like uh, run difference, uh, saying like, you know, run, rushing yards or so, see how much, you know, we giving up or so. Cause like, honestly, like if a team can't really run the ball on you, then what the next thing they have to do, they start have to pass. So like, honestly, like when you can produce on both ways and produce on like, from stopping the run and pass, then what you can do next? Gimmicks. Yeah. What do you uh, What are your thoughts on Jalen Carter and kind of his impact on your defense and what he brings to the table? We were just talking to Kirby about it. Uh, honestly, like that's just another that's another Jordan Davis on the field for it. Uh, if you've seen uh, Jalen Carter already, you can see like he athletic. He done played basketball before in high school. Can dunk like do is like that big and can like move like that. Can it's like unstoppable and he's strong too. Adam, what do you, you know, people talk about your athleticism, uh, your speed, that kind of thing. You're on the same field with uh, Dan Jackson for a good number of plays this past game. I think he's in a different note in terms of measurables. So what's it like to see a guy like him kind of earn his spot on this defense? Honestly, I have so much respect for him. Uh, just like the fact of him coming in, uh, like, you know, just walk on with as an emphasis. And like any walk on that come here, like, I just have like a huge respect because a lot of times, like, we play as more, it's not it's so much of a role of just being on a special team or just being a scout player, but he put himself in a uh, position where, you know, he's playing on Saturdays. He actually, you know, taking the notes. He actually trying to produce more and not just being as a scout player, but like, you know, the owner is felt like the team is how do you, uh How does it land on you when you hear number one ranked George Bulldog? Uh, honestly, that for me, that, that drive for, Keep it neutral. Keep it sane. Don't try to change up. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. Don't like try to. Don't let the just being number one influence how you play now. Because honestly, like a lot of people get like you know over their head a little, and then they say they'll start playing different or trying to like play like somebody they never played before. You feel like it uh, sort of puts a little bit of a target on your back when you know you unanimously rank number one team. Honestly, when you come to the University of Georgia, you always target. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As a group of pass rushers, are y'all kind of starting to anticipate teams, you know, trying to throw the ball quicker to avoid y'all getting in the backfield and stuff like that? I mean, uh, honestly, like, a lot of teams going to plan different for us. Like, we either going to get chip loss or, like, you know, double protection. And so, so, like, honestly, that just all depends on, like, now you just got to figure out, like, what's your pass rush move? Like, what other way can I get in the backfield as well? Because the reason it seems like all of do a lot of different passes. 
to the outside, you know, as outside linebackers, do y'all kind of make an in-game adjustment? You say, okay, we need to maybe focus on getting hands up, bat balls down. I mean, how often do y'all work on that stuff during the week? And do you talk about it in the uh, Honestly, we work on a lot of that during the week. Work on like just like uh, ball movement, hands up. Honestly, like the way you strike and blocks as well. Because honestly, like if you can't get through a tackle in a certain way, then like what's your next move or like how you get your hands up after that? And also, does that have Holinsky's hope? That's the first thing you got out Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> what does what is that cause sort of mean to you? Why is that something you feel like? Uh, for me, honestly, like just mental health is in general. Like I feel like. Uh, after after uh, when we were going in quarantine, like you seen like a lot of people having the, the issue of like you know dealing with mental health, and I feel like mental health is like one of the biggest like muscle that you really got to work on your brain. So honestly, like when you're uh, mentally healthy, then I help you with physically healthy as well. Is that something that you yourself personally struggle with? You know, getting the, the game kind of taken away from all y'all for a little bit last time. Uh, honestly, I feel like that for anybody, not even just for myself, but honestly, like for me, for example, I felt like my mental health had to change a little and like the way that I did things. So honestly, like that deal with like how you eat habits or like the things you go around with life in general. What were you able to change? Uh, I guess during all that? Uh, my focus, honestly. I felt like my focus was more as a standpoint of like, what am I trying to get out of life and what is like my end goal as well. How much of uh, you, you guys been briefed? How much have you gotten to look into Kentucky's offense yet? Like, as you stand here today, what do you know about them offensively? And obviously, they got a new quarterback this year. Uh, very vivid right now. Haven't marched too much yet. Just started off a little, just, you know, new week or so. So, honestly, just getting a little bit uh, this week so far. Have you caught him on TV? Did you get to see him against? Uh, uh, we, actually, we actually watched him um, coming back from the game uh, from Auburn. So, we watched a little bit for now. Any first impressions? Uh, obviously, you played a few other times too. Uh, when you I mean, think about playing Kentucky, what comes up? Uh, honestly, as as always, Kentucky always been like one of our physical game, and like just saying, I like you know, even like when we come back on Saturday, seeing them playing against LSU, just knowing like you know that's a physical team, and like as again, you playing the SEC, that's always going to be a physical team, and always going to be somebody going to come at you as well. Um, Talking about physicality, do you remember playing against their offensive line last year because they're regarded probably one of the best in the SEC? Uh, honestly, last year, that was probably the most physical game we were in. And as you can see, like, even when the offense took, like, the whole, like, first quarter mostly, uh, last year, like, even when defense out there, like, it was, like, physicality, like, you know, helmet to helmet, strike to strike most of the time. Adam, what are the benefits of, you know, you're a talented guy. Some guys jump after the third year. What are the benefits you've seen in your game and your progression by just coming back for another year at the University of Georgia? Uh, for me, it's being able to recognize offense, and not even just offense, but to recognize like my body as well, seeing what I can do, what I'm like as tell, what my weakness, my strength. So like you know, being here more and more, it allows you to strengthen and like more in the mind, but physically, I'll be, like just helping you, just really seeing like what you can do. I got one more mental health question. So you said you wanted to think about what your end goal is. So what what is your end goal here now? Is it is it changed? Uh, I say, my, um, when you first come in, a lot of times, a lot of dudes think, like, all right, I want to be, like, a uh, freshman, All-American or so, and, like, you know, that bot I mean, a lot of times they, like, get away of what you really trying to get to, and then, like, after that, like, when you, like, actually get older and actually producing well, like, you start thinking so much, and not just for myself, but, like, your team as well, like, how can I help this team out in this position? Because, like, a lot of times, it's not always, like, the individual thing you do, it's about your role as well on the team as well. How has that mindset helped you, whether it's in mean, the film room, the practice, like in games too, I guess, like the mindset, the, everything you've gone through over the past year or so, I mean, how has that made you a better player? Uh, honestly, it helped you to adapt and connect better with players. It helped you, like, learn from your mistakes and learn how, you know, that was your weakness. And so from, like, when you have other players coming in, like freshmen and so, to actually learn, like, okay, let me teach you what I learned before so I can help you out as well. That way you can, you know, produce on the field as well. And when you watch your freshman year tape, I don't know if you do, what goes through your mind? I think it's safe to say that you really didn't know what you were doing. Like, what, what do you do when you critique yourself previous years with what you know now? Uh, honestly, um, <laughs> uh, a lot of times when you think of that really, most of the time you yeah. just think of um, what can I do better from last year or like where can I you know, place my hand or most of the time where, where is this allowing me to be 
for the next year. So honestly, like each year is more of a growth development. You always want to find at least one step or something that's going to try to make you a better player. Adam, when you're dealing with injuries in the secondary to a lot of players, is there any added pressure to the front seven to get like, good pressure on the quarterback and help the secondary out? Uh, honestly, like you just know like the depth and you know the players that's even coming in behind that because honestly, like we, we speak on our depth, which that is a big role in this. Like everybody, we don't we don't consider nobody just particularly just a one because anytime you on that field, you consider a one. So at the same time, I don't expect nobody to do anything different. Have you watched any Kentucky's offense yet? Uh, no, sir, not yet. I gotta be asked, what, what was last year's game like? Field uh, very physical. Um, it was more just straight down running the ball, see who can run the ball more, and see who can gain yards, really. As far as physical, I know all the teams in the SEC are physical, but when you think back to last year, was was that one of the the, the slobber knockers or the tougher games you played in terms of physicality, the run on run? Oh, for sure. I mean, honestly, like that was like the most physical game we played mostly. Just because Kentucky always been like a physical team we always played against. Adam, I'm going to see if I can make you smile again. What do you think of Chaz Chambliss so far, man? <laughs> uh, so we call him a little white wolf to us. Like, so he like our, uh, <laughs> he, he always coming in with the energy, always like, when you see, when you see a dude like him, always here, trying to get filmed, man. Like, honestly, like, for a freshman like him, always in the meeting room, and then like, even out to practice, still getting meeting room, getting treatment, you know, stuff like that. You don't see for unusual freshmen. So like, honestly, like, Seeing him produce as well, and honestly, even later on in his future, is still going to be a great player. How much of a, and I, I know you guys are focused on yourselves, but you do see other scores. Is it kind of a reminder when you see Alabama fall that on any weekend anybody can lose in this league? Uh, honestly, that's how you feel about SEC. Like, SEC football, there is no, there's nothing to expect. Like, everybody, you know, recruit the same players. Everybody have, you know, great athletes. So, honestly, like, it's like you got to have your guard up at any time. Um, when you got, how much did you wear when you got when you got When I got the UJL, probably like 220, 218 at most. Eh. What do you have? Uh, 235 right now. Where do you want to be? Uh, at least like 245, 248. How are you going to get that? Eating, <laughs> eating and working out. <laughs> what you eat? Honestly, I eat everything. <laughs> Okay, we've got time for two more questions. What would be like a weight gain food though? Like what would be something you wouldn't ordinarily eat unless you were trying to add that good weight? Honestly, greasy food. Like honestly, you won't want to put no like greasy food in your body for real. Because honestly, that's just going to slow you down. Just put fat on you, not really muscle. So, yeah. What's your favorite food they give you here at the, at the facility after practice or whatever? Uh, favorite food? Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm big on fruits, really. So, like, honestly, when we get, like, the watermelon right out there, like, that's, that's something, like, I'm a country boy, so we like our watermelon. <laughs> okay, that's all with Adam today. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate y'all.